are all hunks. Oh, I'll make up your mind. He's so cute. He's a beefcake. Oh, oh I like him. No, you can't. All the girls want to know, who's the cutest boy on death row? Is it Steve? <laughs> or is it Lyle? Uh-uh. Mm. Or is it the new boy with the unpredictable smile? He looks stuck up. He is not. Oh, I think he's full of himself. I like him. He's mysterious. All the girls want to know, who's the cutest boy on death row? I like this one, because he has nice lips. <laughs> How will I sign my new name? Hello everybody, this is Longshank78 coming at you with a new haul video. Um, I haven't made a video in a while just because I really haven't been hunting that much. I mean, I've been picking up stuff, but uh, I don't know, I'm kind of burned out a little. But not every time I find something, I get more hyped up again. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, this mostly consists of, uh, well, the, the first batch is all, in, like, well, new stuff to me. It's been, like, the last six weeks, uh, like, new releases, and, uh, some AOKs, uh, a small show, and the majority is just comic shop pickups. So, uh, I guess we'll start. Uh, this is Doctor Strange number one, the second print variant. I picked it up because this is the, my favorite panel in the, in the issue. Thought it was cool. We got this 20% off cover. Uh, this is a uh, Deadpool number one, the second print. I just thought it was cool looking. 20% off cover. Uh, I actually picked this up like the week after this book came out, or two weeks after, because I remember when I got it, I, I got it at a store free. So like I just picked up a random one, but this one I found. Uh, <laughs> this was the only one there. All of a sudden, at some other store. It, it's the I'm drunk variant. The, I don't know. It was, it was big for a little while. I don't know how what it's going for now. Found it for a uh, twenty percent off cover. Found this too. This is Oblivion Song number one. This is the pink variant down there. Um, I guess it came with a statue or something, and later on just more popped up. So uh, I got it for a uh, twenty percent off cover. It's pretty cool. I got this. Uh, Christ, I, I forgot what the title was. Something with Black Widow. <laughs> it's been a while. This is a Young Guns variant. I got this 20% off cover. I think it's one of those Infinity something or others. Uh, this is Multiple Man number one. I don't know. I just thought this cover was cool. It's a 1 in 25. I paid uh, 10 bucks for this. I got this Star Wars Lando Double or Nothing number two. 1 in 25 variant. Just like the cover. I think I paid 6 bucks for this. Um, this is Mighty Thor. I think it's number two or three. I think it's number two. This is the Young Guns variant. Uh, 20, I got a 20% uh, off cover price. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's number two. <laughs> this is uh, Thor number two. This is the 1 in 25 variant. That was a cool cover. Paid uh, eight bucks for this. This is Black Panther number two. The 1 in 25 variant. Um, I don't know if uh, Killmonger becomes... Uh, like he has a symbiote or something in this issue. It was a while ago. I remember I read it. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I think I paid. Uh, it was either seven or eight. I got this Venom number three. The well, the regular issue. First appearance of Null, the god of the symbiotes. Uh, Twenty percent off cover. And I picked up this. This is Venom number three, the one in twenty-five variant. Same issue. First appearance of Null. Pretty cool. I paid eight bucks for this. Uh, I think this is Death of the Inhumans, one of the Young Guns variants, 20% off cover. Another Young Guns, I came out with two Young Guns for the same book, 20% uh, off cover. Yeah, those are all, these are all the first appearance of Vox, too, this guy. I got this, this is the 1 in 10 variant, I got this for 20% uh, uh, off cover. That's pretty cool. I like this cover. Uh, this is the Immortal Hulk, number 2, the 1 in 25 variant. I think I paid... I should I pay for this? It was either seven or eight bucks. Pretty cool. This is Cosmic Ghost Rider, the one in twenty-five. Stephanie Hans, I think. Yeah, I paid uh, seven bucks for this. I like this cover. I like this better than this one. This is the one in fifty. I think it's a Mark Brooks. It's all right, but uh, wasn't that expensive. I think it was like sixteen bucks. It's not bad for a one in fifty. Cosmic Ghost Rider number one. This one I didn't. I don't even I don't understand why it's so popular. It's like over a hundred dollar book now. Like I didn't pick it up the day the week of. I found it the week after. And I guess nobody picked it up. It was still on the it was still on the wall. Yeah, this is a Star Wars, The Last Jedi, 
number four 125 variant uh how much was this i think it was seven bucks oh couldn't leave it for that uh this is x23 number one the i think one in ten uh design cover what did i get this for 20 percent off cover this is x23 number one the 125 paid uh I think it was seven bucks. This is Amazing Spider-Man number one. Sorry, I'm rolling back. Uh, the one in fifty. What did I pay for this thing? I think it was fourteen bucks. Pretty cool. Uh, the Jerem Jer was it Jerome or Jeremy Opeña? And I got this uh, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, The Tempest. I don't know the ratio on this. It could be a one in ten. I think I paid. Uh, Seven bucks for this. Uh, this is Tony Stark Iron Man number two, 125 variant. Uh, who's the artist? I uh, can't tell. Forgot. Uh, this was nine bucks. This thing was, <laughs> I think it hit like over 100 bucks too. I think it's down to like 30. It's funny. This is a cable number 159. Uh, I paid uh, $8 for this. Really cool cover. It looks like a Looks like an 80s movie poster. Very cool. This is X23 number two, the one in 25 variant. I think I paid uh, seven bucks for this. This is Amazing Spider-Man number two, the J. Scott Campbell one in 25 variant. Paid, uh, I think it was eight dollars. And this is Mr. and Mrs. X number one, another J. Scott Campbell. This one is a one in 50. Uh, I think I paid uh, 16 for this, maybe. It was it was either that or less? This is Infinity Wars Prime. I guess uh, spoiler alert: <laughs> Thanos gets killed for like the eighth time. <laughs> so I, don't, I really don't know why this book was this big. It's a I think it's a one in 25. Yeah, sorry, I don't know if I said that already. Yeah, yeah this thing went up to like 40 dollars. I don't know what it's at right now. What, what did I pay for this? I can't remember. Eight bucks, maybe. Uh, I found this Star Wars: The Last Jedi. I guess it was writing on the coattails of the last issue. I actually found this for a twenty percent off cover price. It was just mixed in with the books. <laughs> Yay for me! Uh, this is Cosmic Ghost Rider number two, the one twenty five variant. I think I paid uh, seven bucks for this. I wasn't gonna pick up any of these Infinity Wars, but whatever. I, like this was like. <sighs> three weeks after this issue came out and uh it's a one in 50 and it was nine dollars for a one in 50 i wasn't gonna leave it for, for nine bucks and the same thing with this the only thing i was gonna pick up was that alex ross one i ended up picking up all these other ones this is a fantastic four uh i think it's a one per store or something Jack yeah, kirby cover how much was this thing jeez i don't even remember anymore I think it was it might have been 16 I'm not 100 percent though this is another I think it was another one per store I just got it because of the whole venom thing uh, this was uh, I think this one was less I think it was like 14 and this this is the one I wanted this is a fantastic four 150 Alex Ross cover very cool well, I paid 16 for that see and then issue two I wasn't gonna pick this one up either but there it was mixed in with the regular ones this is the the one where you can see Gamora's face so I guess it was big for a little while I have no idea if it's still big uh, I got this for 20% off cover <laughs> I had no plans on picking up these West Coast Avengers at all either it's the first appearance of uh, I think of this character right here her boyfriend um, and some other guys Brodock and some random other characters it's a winning 25 variant it was a uh, 20% off cover this is another 125 variant. It was 20% off cover. I wasn't going to take this either, but it was there <laughs> with the regular book. So, Mr. and Mrs. X number two, 125 variant. So, 20% off cover. Why not? I'm not going to leave it. This one was cool. This is the Punisher number one, 125 Clayton Crane. This was a this was in there too. 20 20% off cover. This is the Punisher number one, the 150 Frank Cho. This one I think was 16. Yeah. So, why not? If I got those other ones so cheap. And this one I, I don't know if I overpaid, whatever. It's a 
the dealer incentive or one per store. I don't know. It was a, the gold variant for Die 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 number one. This one was, I think, I paid 24 bucks for it. So I think that's it for all the the newer stuff. We'll start off with the AOKs. This is X Men Legacy number two fourteen. First appearance of Miss Sinister. Um, these AOKs are from uh, Weapon X. Sorry, forgot to mention that. Um, I didn't have this issue. He had it, so he gave, he gave it to me. I think she's supposed to appear in the next uh, X Men movie if they even release it, since Fox bought it now. So I have no idea what's going on with that. He uh, Weapon X actually went on a Vegas trip, like. Phew, Couple, like last month I think yeah and I guess he hit up some store and he found these for cover price this is Justice League number one the I think Mark Brooks variants he got me this one this one this one and I think this is the pricier one I don't know but I thought that was kind of cool so he let me just got them for me and then charged me pretty cool I was hanging out at Spiro's Heroes, and then he had a stack of these Batman Beyonds, the ones they gave at uh, Six Flags Magic Mountain. I have the regular one. I didn't have this one, and he just let me have it. Pretty cool. So shout out to Spiro's Heroes. Uh, next couple of books are from the Claremont Packing House. The, I think the first couple of books are dollar books. I picked this up, Worlds Collide, Rift Between Worlds. This is the premium edition or platinum edition. It was a buck. Another Platinum Edition. This is a uh, Zombie Number One. Cool. This is a uh, Turok Dinosaur Hunter Number Forty Seven, the last issue. So a little print run. Found another one of these, uh, Alita Battle Angel. This one is actually in better, way better condition than the one I usually had originally. So it's a lot cleaner. Uh, this thing drops. It's probably like a thirty dollar book now. Well, for a while, it was like a hundred something. It was like ridiculous. Well, I guess the movie still hasn't come out, so who knows. That's it for the dollar books. This is the reason I went to the show because, like I said earlier, I've just been kind of lazy. <laughs> like, I haven't really been hunting. So, uh, but this is the reason I wanted to go because this is like around that time where this book got popular. This is Thor God of Thunder number six, the first cameo appearance of uh, Null. Yeah, well, that's I was just looking for it. I couldn't find it anywhere and it was $3. It's pretty cool. Which brings me to this issue. This is uh, Thor God of Thunder number two. Uh, I remember I showed this a while back. <laughs> I thought it was cool. Everybody was saying, Long Shanks, you dumb bastard. This isn't going to be worth anything. But I was like, I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool. I think the only one who backed me up was uh, Key Comics Market Watch. <laughs> so it's a 1 in 50. First appearance of Gore. First appearance of Necro Sword, which is, I guess, the first appearance of the first symbiote ever to exist. So it's pretty cool. I think it's like a $150 book right now. It's funny because I went back to the video to check out how much I paid for because, you know, I. And then, of course, it was one of the ones I just forgot to say it. Uh, it could have been more than 20 bucks, but I'm not 100% sure. I just know I didn't pay that much for it. Definitely wasn't 150 which is insane. I found this uh, Venom number 2, this Wanted Comics variant. So it was 10 bucks. So, I don't know. That was cool looking. Uh, I paid 10 bucks for this. See, so, yeah, I almost forgot to name the price on that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, I think, I think that's all the stuff I picked up at that show. I found some other cool stuff, but it was stuff I already had, so I kicked it to Weapon X. Uh, these next couple of books are dollar books. I went to a store and it had some dollar books in there, so I thought it was cool. This is a Lobo number 60. I, this, I guess it's a popular cover because it's like Super Bow, whatever. <laughs> it was a buck. And it's one of the higher issues, too, so it might be a little print run. Uh, this is Superman Action Comics number 37, the 125 variant. I just thought it was a cool cover. Dollar. Ultimate, oh, this is Ultimate, I guess Ultimate Spider-Man, Death of Spider-Man, issue number 157. I think it's a 1 in 20, maybe? That was a buck. I like this. Uh, this is I Am Groot number 2, 1 in 25 variant. Uh, I just like the art on it. I thought it was really cool. This is a, yeah, this is a buck. This is a Batman Adventures number 28. <laughs> I was hoping to find the first Harley in there, but nah. But I'll take this for a buck. That was, that was cool. I don't I don't have this issue, so it's an early uh, Harley appearance. This was cool too because I've been looking for it. There's the Bride of Venom number, well, the Venom number three, first appearance of a uh, or full appearance of the female Venom and Wayne or whatever her name is. I guess she's supposed to be in the movie. It's like a forty dollar book or something. Pretty cool. This is a uh, Harley Quinn number fourteen, just the one twenty five variant. 
if it's Harley Quinn and it's a variant, like, well, ratio variant, I'll pick it up if it's cheap. Harley Quinn number 15, the 125 variant. Around these Clarins. Just a, I like Clarins, so I just I thought it was a cool cover. Clarin number one, the 1 in 25 variant. This one was really cool. This is a Clarin number two, the 1 in 25 variant. And number three, this cover's all right, but it was a buck, so <laughs> 1 in 25. The only reason I ticked this because of this, I guess it looks like a little Joker puppet or whatever the hell it is. It's a Secret Six number two, 125 variant. Found the Superman number 36. That's pretty cool. It's a Superman Flash Race, I guess. Uh, this was a, it's a 1 in 50. I got this for a buck. This is Superman number 37. This is a 1 in 100. So I'll take that for a dollar any day. Very cool. Found this Earth 2 World's End number 26, 1 in 50 cover. I mean, variant with the. They're all going, taking down Dark Side. That's that toy I remember they came out with a while ago. That was cool. I was thinking of buying it, but it was like 100 bucks. I was like, nah, pass. <laughs> this is a Wonder Woman 39, the 1 in 50 Finch variant. Pretty cool. Dollar. And I think this is the last dollar book. This is the Sandman Overture number 4. One in 200 variant. I have no idea what the hell this thing goes for. Like, I can't even find it on eBay. Who the hell ordered 200 copies of this? But whatever. <laughs> Mine for a dollar. And these are other, like, books I picked up. This is uh, Immortal Iron Fist number four. I just got it because it was signed by Fraction. And I guess that's a remark. I don't know. It was cover price, so why not? I found this uh, Teen Titans number 45. First appearance of, I forgot her name, the character that becomes Bumblebee. She's only like in two captions. Her first full appearance and, and as Bumblebee is that one with uh, where Harvey Dent or Two Faces has like a gun to Harley Quinn's face. I mean, Harley Quinn's head. I have that one too though. Paid uh, six bucks for this. It's a really nice, really clean condition. Paid this, I mean, I paid this. I got this amazing Spider Man number 669 variant. I have no idea what the ratio is on this thing. It was four bucks. And I got this black and white one too. It was four bucks. It was cheap. Spider Man variant, I'll take it. This is a Venom Lethal Protector number four. First appearance of Scream, this character right here. And I guess a cameo appearance of all those other symbiotes. They all come out like in the last page. What's his name? Riot or something? That's the one that's supposed to be in the movie. So, whatever. This was a cover price. No, actually, no. Sorry, four bucks. Uh, I assume all books are four bucks cover price nowadays. <laughs> and that's on the low end. Uh, Uncanny X Force number 15. I don't know the ratio on this thing. Um, I paid. How much was it? Let's see what cover price on this is. That's $3.99. Yep, I got it for cover price. <laughs> yep. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, either 1 in 25 or 1 in 50. I'm not 100%. This is a uh, rocket number one. This is a uh, 125 variant, and uh, I just like the artist, so I picked it up. I remember when it came out, like I guess I wanted to buy it, but they wanted too much for it. And now I ended up getting it for a cover price, so cool. Uh, Tim Brad Street, sorry for some reason it was flying out of my head. It's so annoying. <laughs> I found this one. This is I Am Group number one. That was a real cool cover. <laughs> this thing actually goes for some money. I think it's like a like a thirty dollar book. It's a 125 variant. I forget the artist's name. Found a couple of these, uh, a couple of these all new Ghost Riders. This is a uh, number two. I think this is a one in 25. This is cover. There's another number two. I don't know the ratio on this one. Maybe one in 50. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> it's cool. These are all cover price. Uh, I found this number three, another variant. And I think this one might be like a one in 10 or something, but it was cover price. So let's it. This is Amazing Spider-Man number one. The what the hell is the name? It's like a store variant or something. It's like a one in twenty-five, I think. Too. I have no idea how that works. If it's a store variant, but uh, whatever. I think I paid a cover for the no a dollar over cover. First appearance of uh, Cindy Moon becomes Silk. I don't know what the hell this was. I thought it was on the cover for some reason. It's the name of a store. Sorry guys, I just picked this up like weeks ago. 
This is a uh, Batman number two, the 125 Jim Lee cover. Uh, Variant. I really like this co this cover. This is one of my favorite uh, Jim Lee Batman covers. Paid uh, I think 11 bucks or nine bucks. Don't remember. Uh, worth it. Very cool. I got this Sideways number one. First appearance of Sideways, and it's the Comics Pro variant, which I think people are asking for like 30 bucks or something like that. Pretty cool. I got this for uh, six bucks. This is cool. This is the second one I pick up already. I think I got it for the yeah cover price is what I picked up the original one. I got this one again for cover price. So this is Vengeance number one. I think it's a one in fifty first appearance of uh, America Chavez. So yeah, that's two. I think this thing's going for like two hundred dollars. It's insane. Well, I gotta sell one of those. <laughs> Make some of this money back I've been spending. Which is funny because I'm not really like I said I haven't really been hunting that much and still picked up a lot of books. It's ridiculous. Like uh, Weapon X actually is the one that he was telling me not to make this haul because he says I don't I didn't really get that many good books in this haul. I don't know. I thought I think it's pretty cool. And uh, I was I was waiting. I'm waiting on a CGC book too. That's why. But I don't know when that's coming. So whatever. Uh, this is cool. I found an Amazing Spider-Man in 793, the 125 variant. I actually was looking for these books when they came out and I couldn't find them. And if I did, they wanted too much for them. Eight bucks. And this is the one I was really looking for when it came out and. Either people either wanted too much for it or just really couldn't find it. Like people were like they were spoken for. This Amazing Spider-Man 792, 125 variant, first appearance of the first full appearance of the Maniac. Pretty cool. Eight bucks. I think these two books, I saw like a stack of Spideys, and I was like, where these come from? They even had the date on them from like when they were released. I guess they were in somebody's pull box and they never picked it up, so I guess I was there at the right time. Right place at the right time. Picked up this Miles Morales, the Ultimate Spider-Man number one. Um, I think this is another one of those that's maybe a store variant or something, or 125. I have no idea. It was what the hell did I pay for this thing? Six bucks. I really like this cover. I think it's real cool. I think it's underrated. And this is probably like I don't know if it's the best book I picked up, but it's pretty cool. This is a all new Spider-Man, well Ultimate Comics all new Spider-Man number one. I think it's a one in thirty. It's going for like 150 I think, on eBay. Uh, I actually paid 32 bucks for this, which is a lot for me. Like, I usually don't spend that much money, like, on any books, really, especially variants. Like, I'll just, like, I get a lot of the books for that, but I don't know. It's, it seemed worth it. And then with Miles Morales getting being hot right now, who knows? It could go up even higher. So, uh, yeah, guys, that's my haul. Hope you liked it. Bad! The promised one! The promised one's returned! <laughs> Grace, Grace. Oh, yeah. Get the fuck out of my face. 